Morning everybody. Busy day today. I've got coaching, morning, mid-afternoon, editing, and school drop-off and pick-up. Oh, and a little fight against another magazine now. Who seem to support trolls and bullies. What is going on? Yeah, caramel again today. So yesterday's question, lots of people talking about the socks, isn't it? Is the crazy one, white socks, black socks, how high they should be, collars on shirt as well. There's so many stupid dress rules in golf. They do my head in. Dressed in my golf clothes now. <laughs> teaching today you see. I'm sure people wouldn't mind what I wore for teaching but because obviously it's my job and it's almost like going to the office I feel like I need look a certain way but it does annoy me. Maybe it's something else I should challenge. Give the UK media something else to trial me about. So today's question. This is a disaster. You ready for today's question Harley? Yeah. Listen to this. Right? Wah. Wah. So let's talk about the whole Muirfield thing. So a little quick, really quick thing about Muirfield, right? You listening? So there's a golf club called Muirfield, right? It stages, uh, along with other courses, the biggest golf tournament in the world called the Open. Every X amount of years, four years, or whatever it stays there. They don't allow women to be members of the club. Okay. Is that good or bad? It's bad. How old are you? Nine. Basic rule. So they had a vote, I don't know how long ago, a year ago, and if women could join the club or not, they yes. voted no, that they can't. We're talking like a year ago, so this isn't like in 1845, it's like a year ago. Yeah. So the people who are in charge of the tournament, the Open, said, right, you can't have the Open anymore, yes. it's a bad message. Yes. So they voted, like yesterday or a week ago, two days ago, now to allow women in, because they want the Open, because it's worth looks like mullah to them, and the prestige of their course. So the question is, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, is it easy just to forget that quickly. I mean, this is a game stooped in tradition, but it seems to only really call on tradition maybe when it suits it or not. So the Muirfield thing, now that women can apparently join, not that there are any members yet, obviously because that'll take a while to action, the Open now can be there. Good thing, bad thing. Comment section. Where's the comment section? <laughs> and then they meant to hit that subscribe button. Yeah. What, what noise would that make? <coughs> yeah, I think it's more of a yeah, and post those comments. So today's swing, he complains of blocking the ball and he mentions his chicken wing as he calls it. It's a good example of watching someone hit a little bit too much from the inside. Now the reason he hits maybe too much from the inside, so I would guess here that his club path can maybe get four to seven inside as a guess. You can see as he comes into impact here, his shoulders still want to stay to the right. He's pushed his hips forwards towards the ball. And then as he comes through, we see really quite a high finish. Club not really want to go around him. He's doing everything he can to make sure that the face doesn't go left and for some of his shots it's obviously staying on in line with his path which is right and he gets his block. We're going to talk a little bit about maybe some body turns and what happens if you do find yourself getting a little bit too much into out and controlling the uh, and struggling to control the face to path and then in turn getting these kind of chicken wing looks as people call them. Uh, some ideas that might help you tidy that up. Right fun time coaching heading back home need some love on the bike. So first ideas I want you to practice is thinking about exit point with the club. This can influence what decisions you make on the way down. So I've got a pillow here. So I've got a cushion here. Just it's going to be positioned one pillow length ahead of my left foot and in line with my heels. So it's in front of me and to the left of me basically. I've just got a wedge in my hands and all I'm going to do is try and get my hands over that pillow on the way through. So if I look down now, my hands are basically over that pillow on the left side of me because my hands are coming from my side out in front of me then back to my side. The way you've worked out of hitting the ball looks more to come from your side and then keep pushing out to away from the ball somewhere in between that you hit the ball. As you get this feeling of coming through and exiting more left with the hand or with your hands I want you to get in your mind the feeling of how you can hit the ball straight from this this movement. How you could have the face pointing somewhere near target and still have a club path that comes into out, out to in, all pretty straight with this leftward exit. Because remember the club is going to be coming from your side to the ball then back to your side. It has to be going left and this part goes left before this part. Always the quickest fix is... 
always the quickest fixes I have with golfers who struggle with blocks is getting exit point thought about, talked about. It completely changes path and face to control. It completely changes path and face to path control. And often get them seeing golf in a kind of new way, in a different way than they thought they could ever hit it. Let's answer your questions. G'day Brad, I was just wondering what your thoughts are on posture in the, in the golf swing. I know when I've got my shoulders sort of back in a sort of like a good posture position, I uh, tend to get the, the club on a better plane. Now I know you don't like the term plane, but um, I don't know, it seems to get the club coming through on the right sort of position. Nice little draws for me, but uh, yeah, I was just wondering what why that is, whether, yeah, what your explanation is. Thanks. Cheers, bro. Posture absolutely can affect how people deliver the club. The biggest rule with posture is there is no rule. That's always a tricky rule, isn't it? People want black and white, I know that. They want this posture means you are a good player, this posture means you're a poor player. The only rule with posture that has any kind of consistency with golfers is it's got to be functional. You've got body shapes, you've got physical limitations, you've got different shape shots that those physical limitations want to hit. And certain postures make different sense in other golfers' brains. Now, if you get yourself in the correct posture as you called it and you hit this little functional jaw that you want to hit then why would you ever not get in that posture go for it and regarding swing plane posture will affect or can affect dynamic lie obviously and it can affect the angle the shaft is swinging down on upright or flatter so more behind you if you're low or high while at the same time it cannot affect them and then remember plane as you understand it is not path i cannot say that enough the reason i hate the term plane is because you even in this question sound like you're relating it to a path so you're relating to the angle that club goes down to if you hit a draw which suggests it's talking about your path of your club I hope that helps but yeah posture can affect if you've got a posture that works you use it but don't, don't try and think there's a right posture all right bro how's it going yeah. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. I'm having ham egg on toast, I think. So next idea, I want you to think about where you finish this swing. Again, where you try and get to at the end of your swing can often be dictated by what you're doing in your downswing. I did a video where I played with what I call loft rather than open or close. And the biggest standout thing as well was how high my hands would finish when I tried to hit target with a very twisted face. So we see you finishing kind of high hands and around. So getting up and around. I want you to try and hit some shots where you feel like your right arm is coming much more across your chest. So again, exiting left. So this feeling of pulling that club more left on the way through often for students changes their path, it changes what they do with their face to path, and it can change their shot shape. This is a great drill for people who block it. It's one of the ones that I use kind of just blanket. Most people you say, right, let's kind of exit much further left, follow through left, and their block kind of stops instantly. So again, on the way through, you're trying to get your hands to come much more around left shoulder rather than up and around and over left shoulder. Very commonly seen in pitch shots, you'll see good players pitching with the hands exiting very low and left. And that's because they're trying to hold off the face. Holding off the face makes them feel like they're going to lose it to the right, so they drag that path a little bit left. Just try and kind of find the target. This is a great drill. There we go, thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Remember to hit the thumbs up as always. Hit that subscribe button down there if you're loving the daily vlogs. More swings coming at you tomorrow. And it's for heat to snipe, people. It's about to begin. No word from the National Magazine supporting trolls and bullying. What? That's embarrassing. Oh, is that from all that golfing yesterday? Yeah, 18 holes is a tough day for the lobbies. Magic hands. Yeah, absolutely. They've been uh, put through the ringer a bit, weren't they? Yeah, you know. Day, it? Tough day in the sun on that beautiful course with your bros and your bras and your buds, wasn't it? In a buggy as well, you know. No, no, all that driving. Oh, yeah. Hey, kid again. Oh.